Galactic Council Museum. Exhibition about the Asai race. We didn't know that. When we first discovered humans, they were waging war with each other for possession of some death world. We analyzed their tactics and found that they refrained from attacking civilian targets. And if by mistake civilian targets are hit, both sides cease hostilities to give civilians a chance to flee and get help. And after the war, they left the colonies alone, mostly just changing the faction that owns the planet. We calculated that by hitting the civilians, we could gain some developed human colonies and make them surrender. If the worst happens, we would only lose some fleets that could be replaced by our colonies. Then we attacked Proxima Three. The human fleet was powerful, but when they saw what we did to the world below, they handed over the colony, and asked only to evacuate the survivors. We responded with bioweapons and killed the rest. Just to send a message. Seven billion humans in total. The next target was Orion Seven, three fully developed human colonies. When our ship finished the jump, we didn't find any resistance, not even a single human ship. We believed the humans had given us the colony without a fight in order to preserve the lives of the colonists. As soon as we re-established Tachyon communications with our home planet, we received a message asking all fleets to return. We were under attack. As our jump engines were still charging, we waited with great horror. As our colonies were broadcasting distress calls, human fleets were destroying our colonies one after the other. But not just the colonies, they were destroying the entire planet, leaving nothing behind. They destroyed all the colonies we had, leaving only our home planet. We received a communication from our government telling us to surrender to the nearest human fleet or colony. As we were still close to Orion 7, we surrendered there. We were tried and sentenced to death for crimes against humanity. We pled our case, we asked for forgiveness, but our appeals were in vain. Because, as we now know, they call it the Human Rights Charter for a reason. Diary of Fleet Admiral Victon of the Asai Race Note on the exhibit. The Asai race was banned by humans from developing interstellar travel technology, and kept in an industrial age being used to produce sewer pipes and fittings for the rest of the galaxy's races, as the old Proxima Three colony once did. The Human Rights Charter only applies to members of the human race, as the Asai discovered. Hey everybody, thanks again for watching. All the things I used in the video are in the description below. If you have a story you'd like to see narrated, please let me know and I'll see if I can contact the author and we can make that happen. Thanks again. And remember to look up and seek the stars.